All-Stars DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine led the Chicago Bulls to an above-average offense this season, but that attack has fallen apart against the Bucks, thanks largely to Drew Holiday. Holiday is a point-of-attack specialist, and his strength and lateral movements make him a challenge for guards around the league. We saw this in the playoff series before Chicago, where he slowed down Chris Paul and especially Devin Booker in the 2021 Finals. Paul likes to play angles and use misdirection to find his sweet spots off screens, but Drew has a variety of different tricks for bypassing picks. This is an empty side ball screen, and he spins to prevent Aiton from rolling, then reattaches to Paul's hip, and that makes any paint ideas much harder, and it's a turnover. This time, they're setting up a similar action, but Paul stops like he's waiting for the pick, only to go before the screen, and Drew's really good at herky-jerky stops and starts laterally, stays with a second hesitation, and that leads to another errant pass. Phoenix started screening for Paul at half court so he could shake Holiday, but Drew's active in rearview pursuit too, throwing his hands up for the steal. And his quickness pursuing the slower Paul around these screens made those snaking mid-range jumpers much harder. When Booker got going, they could have Drew chase him off the ball, and his horizontal movement and those little side-to-side -side hops kept Book within an arm's length. And since Drew was preoccupied in the corner, Paul could then attack weaker defenders in the pick and roll. Holiday has an incredibly strong base, and he uses those powerful hips to drive through screens and stick to opponents. And when Booker finally catches it at the logo, Drew is barely thrown off by another pick, steers around it, and ends up right back on his hip. And on a late switch, he's left to hunt for free throws. According to tracking data on NBA.com, Booker was just 9 for 30 with 9 turnovers when Holiday was his primary defender. That's just 30% shooting without any shooting fouls, and even many of the shots he made in these situations were extremely difficult thanks to Drew. The Suns used Booker on ball too, and there it's the same technique, slightly hunched forward, under control and quick to slide those sturdy hips in front of the ball. Then Drew stays with the hesitation, only to jump early, and then swat it on the way down. And he recovers his own block here, just so we can all enjoy some lovely transition passing. So Holiday slowed down Paul's on-ball playmaking and pick and roll scoring game, and he could bother Booker off the ball and on those difficult isolation scoring attempts. The Bulls' wings are slightly bigger than that Suns pair, but they also feature two different types of scorers. As we looked at earlier this season, Levine is more dangerous away from the ball as a three-point shooter and straight-line slasher, whereas DeRozan loves operating in the mid-range and using his body and size to create openings to rise and fire. Levine wants to come off this screen for a shot or drive, and Drew meets him at the line and then stays with him as he moves right, so it's an off-balance jumper. Zach is a deadly three-point shooter when left open, so Drew has to push him downhill on screens so he can't fire from this shooting pocket against a dropping big man. That's a pretty good contest at the end of game one. This time, Levine has a ton of space to attack, but Drew hops in his path, and notice how he absorbs the contact so it's not a blocker charge call, then fights to cut him off going left, and this time he successfully pushes him below that three-point line and takes away anything in the mid-range too. According to the matchup data, Levine is just 6 of 21 when Holiday is the primary defender through four games, the same bunny hop technique with a little arm bar, and then pretty quick deceleration on the contest. It's the same story with DeRozan, where Holiday can contain him in space with his agility, and then in pick and roll bounce around into his airspace and keep him from his spots. That's a nice little kickout pass after Brooke Lopez helps. Unlike Levine, DeRozan doesn't take many threes, instead looking for hot spots around the foul line. He loves to walk into backpedaling defenders and then pull back for a jumper. So even though he doesn't shoot threes, 
Drew crowds him at the line to close that airspace, stays in front of him, and then despite giving up size, times up a great contest. In screening action, he can slide under these screens and concede the three, then step up to block off the mid-range, and on the reset, he turns to force him into Lopez, then works hard to contest a 20-footer. Compare this to a defender who is stuck on the screen, and look at all that room to comfortably fire. He can also get in front of his man off a pick, and then seal him off with his body to get into his spots. But because Drew is good at staying in front of him, or going under the screen to cut him off, DeMar can't carve out that space with his body, and Lopez's presence here makes it harder for DeRozan to shoot. Holiday is merely the head of the snake, but the Bucks are elite because they have paint protectors behind him like Brooke, and especially Giannis Antetokounmpo, who is a high-level shot blocker himself, and yet can slide up on ball screens and chase perimeter players on the outside. And this creates a nice inside-outside synergy with Drew harassing Chicago's guards into uncomfortable shots. Even in spots where an attacker gets a half-step advantage, Giannis is waiting at the rim to make it difficult. And the result is a massive drop-off in scoring for these Bulls All-Stars, with DeMar going from 28 points per 75 on positive efficiency in the regular season to 21 points and a disastrous 47% true shooting, while Levine has also fallen off a bit as well. Most importantly, the Bulls posted a 116 offensive rating with this pair on the court in the regular season, but that has cratered to what would be a league worst 101 in this series. Holiday can also make plays away from the ball. He's on Levine here, but digs down to take away DeMar's walk-in jumper. And he's on Kobe White on this play, who doesn't really stand much of a chance to take him off the dribble. Then he can come over to help on DeRozan's drive and immediately swivel and blow up White on the closeout. Drew has fairly active, strong hands, and he'll attack the ball in pursuit, and especially when he's on the outside, digging down to help in the paint like this. Of course, he authored perhaps the most famous dig in NBA history, sliding down to snatch victory from Booker in Game 5, before breaking out and lobbing an even crazier alley-oop to seal the game. Holiday's not a great off-ball defender protecting the paint or blowing up plays, that was probably his rotation, and for my money, there are a few too many instances where he's involved in miscommunications, which can be a symptom of not talking out there. But this hasn't really popped up in this series because Chicago doesn't run a ton of motion or off-ball action to force weak side defenders to cover and switch. Instead, Drew's been chasing Levine through screens away from the ball, or dancing with DeRozan and bothering him up at the point of attack. Either way, this is the second straight series where he's gone back and forth on the co-pilots of the opposing offense, and his combination of isolation defense and his ability to stay with slashers away from the ball might make Drew Holiday the best player in the NBA playoffs right now at guarding the point of attack. If you want more content, check out patreon.com slash thinking basketball. We have proprietary stats that update daily during the playoffs, additional videos, articles, a community, and more. There's also an enhanced podcast on Drew's offense this season. If you're interested in that, it's linked below. Otherwise, thanks for watching all the way through. And as always, I hope you are having a great day.